Hey guys, my name is Shy, and this is video number two, key number two for the Silver Sun Ascension Vortex key frequency transmission. <laughs> and I am recording this actually only about 20 minutes after yesterday's video, but as you can tell, um, my energy is completely different. I am like back in my egoic state, I guess you could say. And um, that's how these are going to go. Every, every video is going to be its own thing. Um, I'm probably going to record two or three at a time every two or three days or so and just kind of post them one day at a time as I go. And yeah, you're going to get all kinds of different videos. It's going to be whatever kind of mood I am in the moment and that can change like hour to hour. Um, and that I'm explaining all of this because that's directly relevant to today's key frequency. The, today's key is allowing quantum flow. And that's basically allowing everything to be easy and just to flow. So I'm actually going to describe a little bit about how I got here, what I'm doing, why I'm doing this and why I'm doing it in this way, because that's a really good example for this whole quantum flow experience. So this all started quite a while ago. Okay, so what is today? Today is, think shy, think remember. Today is September, no, no, ah, it's not September, it's October. <laughs> it's October 19th. It's the eve of the Aries full moon. Yes, and I don't know guys, I, have, I keep thinking it's September and it's 2021 right now. I know that the vast majority of you are watching this in my linear future. Um, welcome to all of you, you are all here, I can feel you. <laughs> um, for the handful of you who are watching this when I post it, just know that you are really helping me like ground this energy into our specific point in time. Um, my, my cat is over here. Yeah, she's not showing up on the camera, but she's here. She is helping us as well. <laughs> so anyway, this all started for me um, kind of when the equinox energy started coming through, you know, about a month ago or whenever that was. <laughs> and um, everything was like about silver light. Everywhere I went, it was silver, silver, silver. I was feeling silver, thinking silver. And I was like getting messages like vanilla is the silver frequency, <laughs> weird stuff like that. And uh, several times now I have gotten sucked out into this silver sun like vortex. And it, I don't want to talk too much right now about what I think the silver, the silver ray is or what exactly I mean when I say the silver central sun. Um, I'll talk more about that in a later video because it's so many different things that every single one of us is going to have a different angle on it. And I don't want to like insert too much of my interpretation on you yet. I want to give you a chance to kind of feel it, feel into it yourself. So that's definitely one reason. I just lost my train of thought. Sorry. I, I wanted to stabilize the, the camera and then I lost my train of thought. What was I talking about? Right. <laughs> Around the equinox, all of this silver, silver stuff coming, started coming in. And through the Mercury retrograde that just ended yesterday or today, around this time when I'm making this video, Mercury retrograde is just ending. I spent the whole Mercury retrograde downloading all of these keys and I started to understand that a good thing for me to do, something I could do if I wanted to step up into a higher level of service is to transmit these key frequencies. And there's like an infinite amount of data in this silver ray light. Um, I'm just kind of picking out 20, 24 of them to transmit. And for a while I couldn't decide how I was like, I was trying to think about it. I was like, how am I going to do this? How do I want to do this? Like, <laughs> 
In the old way, I could have spent a whole year like writing a book about it, like analyzing all of the codes, all of the keys, figuring it all out. I could have done this whole big thing and or I could have like posted it as a course on like Udemy or something. I could have like I could have had this mental approach. I could have mentalized it. I could have linearized it and wrote it all down and then like sold it as a package and blah, 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 blah. And I mean, that's a, that was a valid option. I could have done it that way. But I just like, why would I want to do that? That sounds like too much work. I don't want to spend that much time th like, th like thinking about it, mentalizing it. So I started to feel um, and received a lot of synchronicities on this that I would just do a, a sequence of 20. I thought it was going to be 22 videos, but I found out that there's something special about n numbers that are multiples of four. So there's going to be 24 of these because that's a multiple of four. It's divisible by four. So and that I would just allow them to transmit as they want to come through. So every every day, every time I sit down to record, it's just going to be something completely random. Some of these might be guided meditations. Some of them are just going to be me talking like today. Some of them uh, are going to be like music. Um, I could just be sitting here like waving at you guys. Like <laughs> who knows? It's going to be just literally whatever wants to happen. Um, so when I just did that, the first... The first key, the first video, I literally just was like, how, how am I going to do this? And I just saw to put this uh, galaxy lamp on behind me. I'm just sitting on the floor in my living room and I got this um, like on the wall and I just sat down and I f like felt like it should be kind of channeled like that, right? I mean, I was fully conscious that um, I've never trans channeled before, so that wasn't trans channeling. But, you know, I'm getting this message to like stop putting an expectation on what we think trans channeling even is like I know we see we, we tend to think that there's like trans channeling and conscious channeling and that well what about where's the overlap right where's the overlap where does it overlap so there's that but that video um I was very you know I mean you, you guys all saw it so you can see how that one came through <laughs> um and this one this is very much like me in my body just doing my talking at the camera thing um <laughs> and the point of all this, the point of my rather disjointed rant <laughs> is to, this in and of itself is an example. This is the, an example, a sample, if you will, of how you can just allow things to be easy and trust that the work is already done. Like you can just, you don't need to make a big thing out of it. You don't need to make it, make it complicated. You don't need to work hard. You don't need to do things in the old way, right? You can literally just do it, allow it to be spontaneous, allow it to be synchronous, and just kind of like, oh, that's an idea, and then just do it, and then at the end, trust that it's good enough, right? Trust that there is a reason for all of it. And now there's a few different ways of kind of feeling into this. Some of you will kind of naturally, if you're like a really people person and you, you, you think a lot in terms of like personalities and how people connect, um, you, might, you, you might think of it like, Oh, you know, there's a whole, you have a whole team of beings out there, like organizing everything behind the scenes and syncing everything up for you and like guiding you and teaching you. And that is all true, right? You have a whole like quantum entourage of beings all setting things up for you and it is all done. You don't need to do that. You don't need to worry about all of the little details and all of the little things because you have a team, an entire team, um, doing it for you, right? Um, and you're just here to have the little, collapsed experience of it. All that noise is my cat. <laughs> she likes this energy. <laughs> She's playing with um, a piece of the mat that she just broke off and is now chasing around the room. Um. <laughs> Others of you who are more like systems thinkers, um, more like abstract energy types of thinkers, you guys might benefit from just trusting that there is a system to everything, that there's a system to everything, right? And that, you know, it's like you don't, your body has a system, right? Your body has a system and you don't need to worry about how, how you're digesting stuff and like how your blood is flowing. No, that's all handled for you, right? Same thing with your life and same thing with the entire universe. There's a whole system to everything and everything is falling to place within the, the system. And why didn't this work before, right? <laughs> Why did you used to have to do things the hard way, the slow way, the detailed way, the planning way before? Well, that's because your frequency was so much lower and your, the frequency of the planet was so much lower that we had like a more 
it's like everything was so stretched out so we actually used to experience like more details because everything was so slow right everything was so slow that we would need to do things like planning and we would need to do things like figuring out the details we needed that because of the low frequency of both ourselves and of the planet but if you're watching this then you are in a higher frequency state like a way higher frequency state than you have ever been on earth before and earth is in a higher frequency state so now we we can just ah we don't need to worry about the details we don't need to plan we can just allow the quantum flow and this is like so life-changing if you really really embody this and i'm sure that most of you already are like we're all you're all in different spots right some of you this might be old hat some of you you kind of know this on a mental level but it's not really integrated into your bodily like embodied experience of your life so that's the trick is to really start embodying this so there's an invitation here to take like actions like steps where you actually practice this in your life of course you know this is like only if you want to and all of that but you know an example i do is when i go grocery shopping i don't take a grocery list anymore and i used to be like the biggest lists person i was a big list person and now i go to the grocery store and i just intuitively grab my groceries and yeah sometimes i get home and i realize i forgot something right but i just trust that the quantum flow is sorting that out. And sure enough, what happens when I forget something? Well, I either find out that I actually had some in the back of a cupboard and it's been there for like a year and I really should use it, right? So I didn't need to buy it at all. Or a family member ends up stopping at the store the next day and calls me and is like, hey, do you need anything? Or I go on Amazon and I just order it and I find out that it's cheaper there <laughs> and, and it all, all works out, right? Um, and my cat really likes this the wires I got going on over here, my recording wires. <laughs> anyway, um, another example I want to give of how you can start living in this higher frequency, like quantum flow state is Okay, imagine you want to make a pizza. Okay, imagine you want to eat a pizza. That's your goal. You want to eat a pizza. So 500 years ago, if you wanted to eat a pizza, what would you have to do? You couldn't just like order a pizza, right? You'd have to plant the wheat. <laughs> um, you'd have to like grow the cow if you wanted like meat on your pizza, right? And you'd have to grow the tomatoes and then you'd have to process the wheat and the cow and the tomatoes and the cheese, right? <laughs> you'd have to milk the cow and make the cheese and ferment the cheese. And it would take you like a whole year just to be able to eat a pizza because you would have to experience every single little detail of building a pizza, right? You would have to do all the work. And then things got easier and, you know, you could just go to the store, buy the ingredients, come home, make your dough, you know, shred the cheese yourself because maybe you could only get a block of cheese and make the pizza that way. That was like a higher frequency way of getting to your goal of eating a pizza. But then, then things get even easier. Pizza places open up. You can just go to a pizza place. You don't have to even make the pizza yourself. Then even better, you can pull open, you know, imagine now you've made it to the 90s, okay? And you can pull open your takeout drawer. The, the, remember, every, we all used to have like the drawer full of the takeout menus and you could pick your favorite pizza place, call them up on your landline phone and have your pizza delivered. And you know, under 30 minutes, right? That was great, even higher frequency. You didn't even have to leave your house. The pizza could come to you. Now we're at a place where you, you don't need to have a drawer of takeout menus. You just click, click, click on your phone and the pizza shows up, right? You've eliminated all of those steps. You've eliminated more steps. Um, eventually we can imagine um, in a higher frequency earth when we can access like the universe just synchronistically sending us pizza. Like you're sitting around going, hmm. I could really go for a pizza right now and then like a pizza magically shows up at your door, right? <laughs> um, eliminating even the step of ordering the pizza. And that you can already experience in your life in, in many ways, um, receiving things exactly when you're looking for them, right? So, of course, here's the thing. Of course, you can, if you enjoy the process of making a pizza, you are more than welcome to still make the pizza yourself. You can even grow the wheat and then grind the wheat and make the flour and make the dough yourself. You can spend a whole year doing that if you so desire. 
So the trick here is to like feel into what details do you want to experience and which ones do you want to skip, right? I could have made a whole big long drawn out thing about um, linearizing these keys and writing them down and making a course and selling them. I could have done that, but that didn't excite me. That didn't interest me. I didn't want to do it. So I am just basically improv every single one of these videos and posting them in one take. That's what I'm going to do, right? Same thing with making a pizza. Do you want to like grow the wheat? and the cow to make a pizza or do you just want to like have a pizza show up on your doorstep um and really like imagine how you can explore this in every area of your life right every area of your life like your spiritual practice for example um when i first woke up i didn't know what i was doing um and i before i sat down to meditate i was like instinctively casting a circle i didn't understand why i would do that but i would like go through this whole process of calling in the six directions and i would like cast a bubble around me and i would sit in that and i'd meditate in that now i understand i was doing that because in a past life i was a witch and that was like natural to me to do um and of course 500 years ago when i was a witch it was very helpful to cast a circle to create that protective sacred space around me now i never do that <laughs> because why? Like, I don't, I don't need to set up sacred space. I, the space around me is sacred because I'm in it, because I'm conscious, right? So in your spiritual practice, there might be like rituals or habits you have that you simply don't need anymore. They're hangovers from a slower energy. Of course, you can absolutely continue to do them if they bring you joy and if you love them and if they excite you and if you're passionate about them. But there are so many details I guarantee you about your spiritual practice that you can just let fade away, right? Even meditating, even meditating, like you could just be walking around in a constant state of meditation. You only need to meditate if you feel inspired to do so, <laughs> right? And like clearing practices um, and like tuning into your intuition, right? You don't necessarily need to be sitting around, you know, meditating for five minutes to open your intuition to access something. You can just you're already there. You're already tuned in, right? You don't need to dial up to the internet anymore. You've got fiber internet. You're, you're, you're good to go. <sighs> yeah. And I think <laughs> that that's, that's where the message ends. I could keep giving you examples about different ways that you can explore this in your life, but I think you guys get the picture. I'm going to leave you there. Just remember quantum flow, allow things to be easy allow things to be simple and quick and just to trust that it's all taken care of for you, for you, taken care of for you. It is taken care of for you. The universe has got you. You just need to focus on the things that excite you and bring you joy. So I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow for key number three. Bye.